Hi guys, welcome to Opto 10th. My name is Chris and today we're going to continue on with our pumpkin beers. That's right. Today out of Ohio, we're looking at Fedhead's Spooky Tooth. This would be an Imperial Pumpkin Ale that's coming in at 9% alcohol by volume. It's in a 12 fluid ounce bottle. Um, yeah, I've never had it gonna drink it that right now uh, i picked this bottle up over at brood and bottled so they're my jam anyway let's get into this beer right now oh let's grab this uh, here we go let's pour it all right so this this beer has been out of my fridge for a long time and it's fizzing like coca-cola all right Right off the hop, I can pretty much tell you that this is going to be pretty thin. But you never know. I could be wrong. Um, poured off with some head, but then now it has dissipated to just bubbles. That's all it is. Just bubbles right on top of that kind of copper-looking pumpkin-ish beer kind of thing. I know it's kind of hard to see through the mirror glass, but it's what it is. It's um, copper color, kind of like a reddish-brown. Sure, why not? Let's smell it. All right, right off the hop, you're getting all the nutmeg. You're getting all kinds of allspice in this one. And a touch, touch of cinnamon on this one. That's what I get. Let's drink it. Cheers. Let's try it. It's funny, my cat's right behind the camera and every time I start doing a pumpkin beer, the cat shows up. Show up on the other beer reviews? No, not while I'm sitting right here. But right for some reason, she's loving the pumpkin smells. And so am I. Let's talk about that taste. All right, 9% alcohol by volume. This one hides it extremely well. This is extremely dangerous for an Imperial Pumpkin Ale, which I'm pretty much digging. You can't, you can't fault that at all. Uh, there is, however, a little bit of a, a little bit of an alcohol burn down in the chest, or maybe a little bit of a warming. But on the initial taste, you can't tell that this is nine percent alcohol by volume on the boot, on the taste on the initial sip anyway. Body, what I thought it was going to be, it's thin. This is very, this one, my, this one was probably around the high end of thin, maybe. Maybe even just slightly getting into medium body, but no. Most people will probably think it's pretty thin. It is. I mean, it's, it's surprising because I thought for sure this would be a little bit thicker, but it's not. It's just an ale. Sure, why not? making shit up as I go um taste all right this is the best part taste on this beer you can tell they probably are not using real pumpkin on this one but this would probably be one of my one of the better ones that didn't use real pumpkin if they don't if they're not using real pumpkin which I'm pretty sure they're not they're using all kinds of flavorings, maybe some kind of extract, and that spices. They've nailed down the spices. This is good on the taste when it comes down to the actual pumpkin spice kind of pumpkin beer or pumpkin ale that you're looking for. Nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice. It's all in here. Unfortunately, this is a little bit too thin for me. I really enjoy the taste of this beer. However, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's not. Um, and I kind of wish you were using real pumpkin, but fuck, I could be wrong. Maybe they are using real pumpkin. I don't think they are, but you know what? I could pound this beer down and that's pretty scary at 9%. Guys, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried Fat Heads, the spooky tooth from, uh, from these guys. If you have, I don't even know if that even went in focus, but if you have, let me know what you thought. This is all right. I mean, this is totally crushable at nine percent. However, I kind of want to. I kind of wish it had a bigger body on this one. 
There's no lactose in this one. On the side of the bottle it says they stopped before the whipped cream, which is kind of like, uh, I kind of wish I had that whipped cream on there. Um, now going back to the taste, I didn't mention one thing. Um, hold on a sec. And I did read it beforehand, before I actually cracked the bottle, before I started recording. That starts talking about the pie and the pie crust and, and all that stuff. It's not there. Unfortunately, it's not. So with that being said, would I buy another bottle of this? Probably not. But I do enjoy the, the actual poundability of this. If I wanted to get hammered in October, sure, I'll buy more of these. But you know what? For an actual pumpkin ale, there's better ones out there. Anyway, I'm done, guys. Anyway, like I said, if you guys have tried this, let me know what you thought. If you're going to try it, fuck, I can't even stop burping. If you're going to try it, again, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Other than that, I'm done with this Moo Quickie. I dragged it on for over six minutes now, so I do what I do, right? Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out till the next beer review on pumpkins. Fuck, I don't even know what I'm doing.